Shalom. Call Lima Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, or Kakadash. All praises be to the Most High, Yahweh, in the name of His Son and our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. Much respect and honor to the brothers that are doing the work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and freedom to do so, pushing this gospel throughout the four corners of the earth. Citations to the hopeful elect that are scattered abroad in double honor and respect to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Coming back at you with another lesson, losing the information war. So the wicked global elite are losing the PR campaign or the public relations campaign. One of the major strategic objectives in any military campaign is to win the information war or the public relations campaign. That's one of the major objectives to winning any war. The hearts and the minds of the people becomes the focal point or the center of gravity. And that center of gravity is the key pivotal point in which you want to be able to control, to be able to move the minds of the people or direct their focus and attention as to what's important, as to what is true and what's not. So the center of gravity becomes the mindset of the people that you are we're aiming to be able to be to be able to control, if you will, to control the narrative is what I'm saying. So this man is obviously angry because of what he just found out. And I'm going to copy and paste the video in the description box. It's a TikTok video. And I recommend you listen to the whole thing. What's wrong with you people? What the fuck is wrong with you people? Like Duh! Anybody with a fucking soul should be able to say this is wrong. And this general mindset is only going to grow and spread. Not just here in America, but globally. There was a recent report that I listened to, and I think it was from an East Indian news agency that the global viewpoint, generally speaking, the global viewpoint on what's happening over in the Middle East does not favor the wicked at all. And we know who the wicked is, pursuant to the scriptures. So they're against the actions that are being waged against the poor over there, against the little man, if you will, and this mindset is going to affect the actions of the people leading up towards uproars nationally and globally. So I want to go here. So this anger is only going to intensify. So I recommend you watch that video. There's no one can justify dropping bombs on a civilian target like a hospital. That's just inhumane. <clears throat> Let's go here to the book of Proverbs 29. The book of Proverbs chapter 29, verse 6. In the transgression of an evil man, there is a snare, but the righteous doth sing and rejoice. So the way the Most High works is he causes you to use your own force against you. Any master in martial arts understand what I'm talking about. So when you're attacking with aggression, hatred, anger, and devious mischief, then that becomes the weapon against yourself. So he turns it around on what you intended for evil, 
he turns it around for good. So if you're trying to enslave the people of the Lord, you become a slave of your own evil, wicked ambitions. Look what happened to Joseph. What they intended for evil, the Lord turned it into good. And Joseph became a king, a prince in the land of our enemies. Let's go to Proverbs 29 and 7. The righteous consider the cause of the poor, but the wicked regardeth not to know it. Goes back to this video. I mean, look at the frustration, the vexation in this man's eyes. The eyes are the gateway to the soul. That's one of the first things that I do when I meet any individual. Look into their eyes. Are they sincere? Or are they full of dog? Uh, I'll leave excrement. Put it that way. You see, so this frustration is going to lead to uproars of the people, which is only going to be worsened when this device is mandated in order to control the minds of the people, to control the masses, because it uses what's called the beehive technology concept, vibrations to manipulate the mind, to control the masses, so this is going to become more and more critical because of the uproars of the people domestically and internationally. Proverbs 29 and 7 again. The righteous consider the cause of the poor. <laughs> the righteous consider the cause of the poor, but the wicked regardeth not to know it. Scornful men bring a city into a snare, but wise men turn away wrath. So the wise right now are speaking words of hope, words of a bright new future, ushering in the establishment of a new, holy, righteous kingdom. Let's go to Proverbs 4 and 18. Or the 17, for they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. And this is what the wicked are doing. Only a foolish king would upset his council, his citizens, his nobles, the people under him. Why? Where do you draw from to build your military? Where do you draw from to build your hospitals, your security, your police force? You draw from the same citizens that you're ruling over and that you depend on. So there's a system of interdependency, a system that cannot be disrupted based on relationships between the government and the citizens of the society that the government is ruling over. So this interdependence cannot be disrupted through wickedness, unrighteous decrees, partiality, brutality, for they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence, but the path of the just is as a shining light that shineth more and more unto the perfect day. So the Lord's lesser lights are trailblazers, if you will, trailblazers leading or showing the path towards the kingdom that's going to be established on earth. Trailblazers, pathfinders, are the Lord's men, the leaders that are 
going to spearhead the new government in the kingdom to come. So these trailblazers are part of the 144,000 new governors endowed with this wisdom. But the path of the just is as the shining light that shineth more and more unto the perfect day. The perfect day is Yahweh returning and establishing his kingdom. The way of the wicked is as darkness. They know not at what they stumble. My son, attend to my words. Incline thine ears unto my sayings. So it is a stumbling block to piss on the people that you depend on. Military, medical, engineering, doctors, lawyers, teachers, scientists. So why abuse the same pillars of support that you turn around to use, that you need? So this interdependence between the government, society, and military cannot be disrupted or creates painful ripple effects, uproars, civil war, distrust, and ultimately collapse. Look at Rome. It became immoral. The leaders became greedy. They began to devalue the money, devalue the currency, poking holes in the currency, stripping the gold away and coating it with useless metals and overexpanded, spread out military, immoral, and increased lasciviousness towards sexual immorality and lust, a total degradation of society. <laughs> Let's go to Proverbs 12, verse 5. The thoughts of the righteous are right, but the counsels of the wicked are deceit. So people are pissed off, tired of being lied to, tired of scandalous politicians, mischievousness, tired of this deception in the media, false propaganda, fake news, painting the good guy as the bad guys, but the bad guys as the good guys. So this mindset of colonization is played out. That's an old, dirty song now. Proverbs 12 and 6. The words of the wicked are to lie and wait for blood, but the mouth of the upright shall deliver them. So the path to freedom is through words of liberty, doctrinal truth. Did not Yahweh Shai say, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free, or make you free. Yes, he did say that. So this is the way towards being liberated. It starts with understanding who is the enemy, who is the culprit, the bad guy on the earth. Who is the puppet master behind the curtain orchestrating these events of chaos? Follow the money trail of Hamas, Hezbollah, the Wahhabi movement out of Saudi Arabia, the Hezbollah out of Jordan, Hamas out of Israel. When you follow the money, it leads a trail to one family of people, according to the scriptures, Amalek, Edom. Proverbs 12 and 6, the words of the wicked are to lie and wait for blood, but the mouth of the upright shall deliver them. 
the wicked are overthrown and are not, but the house of the righteous shall stand. So the house of the Lord is being built in the dark land, in a desert place, the God of Babylon, the Lord's temple, his lighthouse is being built. The wicked are overthrown and are not, but the house of the righteous shall stand. A man shall be commended according to his wisdom, but he that is of a perverse heart shall be despised. I have loved you, saith the Lord, yet ye say, whereas has thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother? But I laid his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. So that man of sin is having a bright stage light shining on him. He's being revealed in broad daylight now. No more covering veil. No more curtain to pull back and hide his wicked deeds. So his devious acts and mischief is on full display. That's the man that is despised. <clears throat> Let's go to Micah 6 and 10. Are there yet the treasures of wickedness in the house of the wicked and the scant measure that is abominable? Shall I count them pure with the wicked balances and with the bag of deceitful weights? For the rich men thereof are full of violence and the inhabitants thereof have spoken lies and their tongue is deceitful in their mouth. Therefore also will I make thee sick in smiting thee and making thee desolate because of thy sins. So even Jake is joined unto this system. Look at Amari Stoutmeyer. Look at that, I think it's Floyd Mayweather. Look at it's a Kyrie Irving. So the celebrities that you trust on is joined to this wicked system. Who you think they're going to use to advertise and broadcast the implementation of the mark? You got it. I think they even used that other actor trying to think of his name, Idris Elby, if I'm saying it right, Idris Elby, however you say it, I can care less about these celebrities. But they're going to use them as well to help push this agenda that's being rolled out as we speak. But ultimately, it's going to become mandated worldwide as these fires of tension and anger begin to intensify. Don't forget to watch this video. It will be in the description box. TikTok video. See, they're taking down videos. Look at this. I know you saw that. Anyway, hopefully this lesson has been edifying our praises to Yahweh Bahashem. Yahweh Shai Bahashem. See you on the next lesson, Lord willing. Kwam Yasharala. And the Bob the Bob. We got next. Lord willing. Barakatan. Shalom.